find couples. Your host, Naomi Slater, will awaken your passion, deepen your intimacy, and invite healing into your relationships. Working towards accessing higher levels of consciousness in all areas of your life. Come with us on this journey to explore and experience your fullest potential. You are listening to Society Bites Radio, social interaction for the mind and soul. Thank you for joining us. I am your host, Naomi Slater, and you have tuned in to Divine Couples, adding intimacy, passion, and healing to your lives. Deva Presence created Orgasmic Heart after a decade of unraveling the means to an orgasmic life. His focus on healthy relationships and healthy lifestyle has led him to discover conscious sexuality as a primary element. He has since wrote several books on the subject and released many online courses to further support the growth of lovers worldwide. Hey Deva, thank you for joining us. All right, happy to be back again. (laughs) Wonderful to have you. So so we're talking about energy orgasms today. Can you explain to us what that is? Uh, Please repeat, I think you got cut off. So what is an energy orgasm? Ah, yes. Energy orgasm. Now, the orgasm that we think about is we think about this peak release where you're, you're stimulating your genitals either through sex or through self-pleasure and at, at some point in time if you're touching just right you'll be able to feel like this intensity of, of arousal increase and then it becomes starts to sharpen and you're like whoa and you usually tighten up your face or tighten up the body and then there's this uh, climax Usually for the male body, it's releasing fluids like ejaculation. For the female body, it could also be releasing fluids, but it's like this kind of sharp um, uh, point of no return. And then Mm -hmm. there's a resolution phase after that. There's relaxation, there's dopamine release, there's an ease inside the body or tension release. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I had my (laughs) orgasm. And so the orgasm... Uh, is like kind of treated like this uh, noun, so to speak. It's like, okay, I, I, I had an experience that's now complete. Energy right. orgasm is referring to the everything that happened before you climaxed, that felt sensational, that felt really good, that mm. felt very pleasurable. That sensation that you normally feel only in the genitals that then comes with a peak and then resolution, that can be cultivated. That part, that part of it that we usually associate only to when we're stimulating our, our sex center hmm. can be actually felt in other parts of the body and even beyond the body. And so for those who are interested in moving beyond the body or maybe have already felt something similar to that like oh wait a second yeah i think i did feel the pleasure of or, or orgasmic pleasure that that wasn't necessarily associated with like stimulation you know this is what we're focusing on when we talk about energy orgasm so it's like developing an awareness a deeper awareness to all of these small orgasmic sensations and kind of increasing them uh, yes, absolutely. And it's cre- increasing them in the sense of it's almost like there's a, you know, a whispering wind in the background and you're so focused on the sunset, right? Because of beauty, beauty and the magnificence of it and the vibrancy of it. Yet there's this like very sweet, cool breeze that's mm-hmm. caressing your back that's allowing you mm-hmm. to enjoy it rather than feeling hot and disturbed and not able to enjoy the sunset. And so what I'm inviting is like, hey, tune in also to this sweet, cool breeze and how mm-hmm. wonderful that feels for you and, and how that's enabling the pleasure that is surrounding this, this, you know, ultimate experience of orgasm and then allow that to expand and grow. So when we're feeling orgasm in our genitals, Right? We normally have so much of a focus there that we don't we miss all the nuances. And so the idea is like 
yeah, you can feel that pleasure in the, in the genitals. Now let's spread it. You know, and there's many techniques on how to do that. Now let's mm-hmm. go ahead and take our our attention off of the main event and start illuminating our awareness onto those things that actually complement and allow us to have that main event. So, I mean, this really sounds to me like you're teaching people how to awaken. I mean, this is really just an awakening. It's it's about feeling things on a very deep level and developing this awareness to all of the orgasmic experiences that are available to us in life. This is a full yes, because this viewing the sunset is an orgasmic experience. Uh, mm-hmm. Consuming a juicy, delicious, ripe fruit off the tree is an orgasmic experience. Going on a, a a dance with Zouk in a you know Brazilian uh, entertainment center and like really having a great time is a very orgasmic experience. Ooh. Or like you, just feeling the caress. I'm the fully turned on now. On that warm skin. Yeah, exactly. Like all of these are very pleasurable experiences that we're not associating to mm. the uh, to the feeling of orgasm in our genitals, and we can. We can absolutely associate it if we see it more as a gradient or a spectrum of light or source than seeing it as two completely different things. We can say, oh, all of these things are being felt through my body in the spectrum of pleasure and orgasm is on is a part of that spectrum. And I can take any of that spectrum and sensationalize the experience I'm having, like again with food or with environmental nature or whatever it is, you know, with your lover. Mm. Whatever it is. Oh wow, I love that. So how do you teach people to do that? Okay, so the first thing, the first thing I do, uh, and I have a, an online course that's called Orgasmic Heart Meditation that focuses on this, and it shows me demonstrating, you can see it free on the, on the page, uh, giving a woman a full body energy orgasm, not touching her at all. And you can see her <laughs> responding to parts of her body that my, my hands are hovering over and she's completely blindfolded. This was not a staged act, it's real. <laughs> and she's really yeah. responding to the areas that I'm, I'm hovering my hands over because she sensitized her body enough to be able to tap in the energy beyond her body. And I've sensed that my body enough to be able to expand my energy beyond my body and so that mm-hmm. they can dance. And so you're seeing and you're witnessing the dance of energy and that feeling arousing and pleasurable in the body of myself and, and her as well. I also felt pleasure in that experience. Mm-hmm. And so um, I show the ultimate place that you can go there, but you must uh, learn how to tap into your own sensations. And so we mm-hmm. go through an eight-stage process on how to do that. And uh, the, the, the first several stages is really about getting out of your own way. And one way that we're in our, in our own way is we're in our way because we're, um, we are kind of, I would say, crusted over with this armor that is unnecessary because of what life has uh a way we've interpreted what life has given us. And so because of that unnecessary armor, we have desensitized ourselves and Mm -hmm. are not necessarily feeling the the, the subtleties in our body. And so things like shaking, dancing, stretching, yoga, uh, qigong, chi tai chi, Mm -hmm. breath, Mm -hmm. breathing, all of these things are um, expanding the nervous system's capacity to resensitize itself so that mm-hmm. you can feel more. It's literally just allowing yourself to feel more, especially your feelings. And so by doing these practices, sometimes people get emotional, and that's a good thing. It's like, all right, mm-hmm. awesome. You're feeling anger? Go for it. You're feeling grief? Go for it. And let that out and let the body know it's okay to feel. And that's the point. Mm, amazing. And then the second aspect of that is then cultivating and channeling the energy that you can now feel. Oh, now I can actually sense the energy in my hands, the energy that's on my skin, on the surface of my skin, 
oh, even with light touch, it feels quite electric. It feels really good. And then taking that and then using the mind as a meditative practice to focus what you feel in such a way that it becomes attuned. And it's almost like tuning an instrument. You're tuning the instrument of your body to play this beautiful melody of pleasure and sensation so that what you're sensing and feeling and diving into is like almost like a delicious bowl of yumminess that you're creating <laughs> and creating by spending the time on that mm. and allowing that to illuminate inside of you. Oh, it sounds so delicious. I love it. Um, fantastic. So what are, if any, uh, differences between male and female orgasms? Okay, so there are many, actually, and I wouldn't call them differences per se, because I believe that any, any person, whether they're of any gender or non-gender, binary or non-binary, have the, have the ability to experience uh, pleasure in any part of the system that can experience pain, in any part of the system that can sense itself you can illuminate that and it could be ringing at the tone of orgasm, right? So I want to first say that. Mm -hmm. And so there could be okay. an unlimited expression of pleasure. Um, in the limited sense and in the basic sense, we have clusters of, of neuro, neuro, neurons and, and nervous, nerve, uh, sorry, um, uh, nerve endings, the clusters of them in certain parts of our body that's more dense than other places. So, for example, for a lot of women, they may have a lot of clusters of, um, of these nerves in their clitoris and, say, mm -hmm. in their nipples. And so if you mm -hmm. touch them in the right way or in a mm -hmm. way that's like inviting and welcoming and enjoyable to that person because everyone has their uniqueness, then mm -hmm. you can bring a peak climatic sensation in that area. Uh, mm -hmm. This can also happen on the lips. This can happen on the neck. This can happen on the, the anal sphincter, like the, the in its hole, where they have a lot of clusters of nerve endings there. And so if we just touch where these nerve endings kind of really come into a, a high accumulation, we have the potential of bringing these very uh, exalted sensation to a climax and producing a, a strong pleasurable experience and so this is also uh, considered within the genital area itself and so for example on the male body we have a strong focus on the, the penis gland which is the head and the frenulum which is just underneath the head of that being mm -hmm. where the, all the high clusters of nerves are and so, yeah, a lot of men and women, they only focus on that part to create a climatic experience. However, mm. you, can, you can maybe build the energy from there and don't climax from there. Take, take off your touch off of that place. Take off your touch off that place and then start to focus on maybe moving onto the shaft or maybe moving onto the pubic bone or the balls, for example, and try to channel that energy into other parts until mm -hmm. those parts start to feel sensational and start to peak with orgasmic pleasure. Same for the vagina. You can be on the clitoris and maybe bringing and building sensation, eventually come off of that without peaking there and start to touch the labia, the outer lips, the inner lips, touching the entrance of the vagina. And then in, in that way, producing these powerful sensations that you would normally feel only in the clitoris, but then exploring the whole clitoral network and enabling the body to become orgasmically sensitive and expanding the pleasure of orgasm into other parts of the body. Wow. We, we weren't taught this in sex ed, were we? <laughs> Not even close. No <laughs> focus on that at all. It's going to be safe to like, tell you, put on a, how you do it. Right. <laughs> from our sex lives is good. <laughs> it's enlightening. I think it's really, really enlightening to hear this this knowledge because 